Hey, this is Bob Brown from Evergreen Audio Design Group giving a quick preview of some cool features that are coming up for the 1.2 release, which will be happening April in time for NAM and NAB. A feature that has been long requested and I think will add a lot of flexibility to the massive meter bridge is the ability to access and route directly from a core audio device. So let's check that out. Under the setup, menu we have a audio device settings and when you open that up you'll see this new dialog that allows you to uh, select which core audio interface control things like sample rate and buffer size and create meters and map them to the specific input values so here we've got our we've selected a the pro tools audio bridge 16 and this is using the new feature in pro tools the aux io feature so if you have the latest version of Pro Tools and you enable that functionality, you'll be able to access various uh, Pro Tools outputs as inputs for a core audio device. And so you can see we've got quite a few here. I also have a whole lot of other things. I've got a Onyx uh, producer 2x2, which is a physical um, audio interface here. We've got display audio, all sorts of things. Um, but we're currently connected to the Pro Tools Audio Bridge 16. So you basically you select your your core audio interface and then you can uh, create new meters. We can select the format of our meters, uh, all the standard formats that you would expect. Um, I've already gone ahead and configured a couple here. So I've got a 5-1 and then I've got a stereo. So each one of these columns here, 1 through 16, represent an input from the Pro Tools Audio Bridge 16. And then I've I've mapped channel 11 to go to left, channel 12 to go to center, channel 13 to go to right, and so on and so forth. And these two new meters that I created, we'll, we'll call this one a stereo, and maybe we'll make this one a quad. Uh, so you get on the right-hand side, you get the available channel mappings, and you just drag them over, and you can drop them right on to the channels that you want to map to. Uh, so we've mapped my new stereo meter here, rename this one stereo. We've mapped this to channel input three and four, and then my quad. We're going to go ahead and map these to one, two, three, and four. So once you have your, your meters mapped and you can have kind of overlapping meter inputs, and then you basically you can uh, save this as a setting. So we've saved the meter settings. They're automatically added to the uh, configuration. So you see Pro Tools number one right here. We've got the, the five one, we've got our, our stereo, our aux one two, um, another meter stereo, and then our quad. So if we flip over to Pro Tools here, so if we check out our IO setups in the output, you'll see that I have my Pro Tools Audio Bridge 16 and I've got uh, various outputs mapped here. So my, my one and two uh, stereo is mapped to one and two, and then my PT aux 51 I'm mapping that over to channels 11 through 16. And stem on the track that is the stereo one, stem eight, it is routed to the Pro Tools Audio Bridge 16 channel one and two, and then down here on meter two, which is a 5-1, I am mapping box 51 that I've created in my O setups. So if we press play in Pro Tools, you'll flip over to the massive meter bridge and you can see the signals coming in. Uh, we also have this MX here. This is the, the same Pro Tools system, but it's reading data from the massive meter plugins in there. So you can kind of do this double monitoring if you want, um, or you could just monitor directly from Core Audio any interfaces. So one of the really cool things about this new feature is it allows the massive meter bridge to run standalone without the massive meter plugin. So you can take and run the massive meter application on say a Mac mini and have that pointing to the Core Audio device. You could you know, run uh, you know, stereo or 16 channels or 256 channels and you can meter that as a standalone application. So this gives a really nice new flexible way for doing metering of audio through a core audio device.